Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are kicking off again today with a brand new team that we started playing earlier in this week. And if you missed any of the episodes from the previous two episodes, I will link a card up there. You can go back and check them out before coming into today's game. But to give a brief overview of the team before we get into it today, we've got the Kyogre, we've got the Tornadus, Togemaru, Xerneas, Kangaskhan and Serena. So as always, the team is down in the description below. There is a roll pace and a poker pace for you guys to check out, take away, try out if you'd like to. And if you do, make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on the team and if you are enjoying it, of course. So, without further ado, let's get into this one today. Let's crank the music up and um, let's hope it's another good one because we've had some good results so far with the team. It's gone well, but there's a lot of like different options with the team that we haven't really explored yet. Now, do we curse ourselves by going for Ultra Necrozma version 2 today or not? Uh, let's go with Guardian Deity because that's the one and I haven't even got the screen on. So We do have a, a rating of 1687 at the minute, so we're not doing too bad with the team. We're 4-0 with it at the moment, so hopefully that continues, but uh, we don't want to curse ourselves, so we'll just touch a little bit of wood down here just to make sure that we don't, <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. If it does, we'll jump straight into it, but as always, guys, as of course, because I forgot to mention, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to leave a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and uh, do leave your comments down below. But we've got a first opponent of the day, so we don't need to cut or anything like that. We'll just jump straight into team preview. So, our first opponent today, running a QR code team, playing Lunala, Groudon, Tapulele, Salamence, Amoongus and Lucario. So, I wonder if this is a trick room, Lunala. Uh, it would make sense that it is so you've got the trick room mode there with the Lunala and then you've got the tailwind mode with the Salamence there Which is going to be the mega of the team probably scarfed Lele as you're generally seeing on a lot of these teams now the Groudon Maybe a bit of a middling speed here to allow it to kind of operate a little bit better um, In trick room and tailwind then you've got the Amoongus uh, which is going to thrive in trick room So we need to try and help ourselves deny that although it's going to be very difficult with the psychic terrain and then Lucario as well Which could be a second mega maybe just a support role there. It's going to threaten our Kangaskhan whatever happens So we need to be very careful of it on that side of the field, um, I do really want to lead Kangaskhan though because I feel like we're going to see Lunala Lele here to stop our Tornadus from getting a real kind of, uh, just to get around the fake out support from our end. So we could bring Kangaskhan, try that bite as well, that might be quite nice for us to, to go for there. Um, do we want uh, Kyogre up front though? I'm going to go Kyogre, I'm going to go Tornadus because I think we need it. And let's go with uh, Serena as well. So we'll click him with those. Oh, this feels like a tricky one. I keep saying this, but this one definitely feels like a tricky one here today. Um, psychic terrain definitely is something that is hindering our ability to, uh, to fully operate all the time. This guy looks like he's got lipstick on. Is that intentional? Or is that he's just got his mouth open? I think it was just the, the smile. <laughs> his mouth that did look like lipstick. Sorry, sorry my dude. There we go. So we're gonna see oh, Lucario, Lunala come out for my opponent. This is interesting. Uh no. Hmm. Kangaskhan in a tricky position because it's probably not Mega Lucario, and if it is, then we're in a real tight spot. Um because we could just see Hmm. If it is Mega Lucario, it just, it just nails Kangaskhan straight away. Um, and we could scrappy fake out the Lunala at the expense of Kyogre here. But then if the the Groudon comes in, then it does get a bit trickier. Um, it's nice that we don't see the um, the gra the gra uh, the Tapulele here. What are we going to do? Do we just sacrifice? I think what I'm going to do is just bring in... I'm going to go for a bite into Lunala. Hope it's not Mega Lucario. Uh, if it is Mega Lucario, if it's not, it's just going to it's just gonna follow me. I've got to bring in Tornadus, I think. And I'm just going to go for an Origin Pulse as well. Because I think you concentrate more down on the Kangaskhan if you're my opponent. And I think you want to follow me here to get that Trick Room up initially. There's a close combat, just gone straight into that Kangaskhan slot, so we do make the better decision there, I guess. 
Um, it's just if we see a trick room here or not. No, we're just going to see a Z move. It's going to be into Kyogre. We're going to lose it, which is really unfortunate for us. Hmm. And we're going to have to cut this as well because obviously this is copywritten. So we'll be right back, guys. And we can see it is going to be into the Kyogre. We're not running the bulkiest of Kyogre, so we shouldn't really take this, I don't think. Oh, we do actually, so that's surprising. We do get the Origin Pulse off, which keeps us actually in the game now, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, we get rid of the Lucario. So we've still got a few options. Okay. I'm surprised we took that, to be honest. I really am surprised. Okay, Tepalele coming in. Um, we can Tailwind. But they can, they can Trick Room. <laughs> Although they are a really fast Lunala, so... Um, I'm going to Tailwind, for sure. And I'm just going to Protect. So let's see if we can do something here. So another Origin Pulse will get that Lunala. We have to be careful about Y God as well. That's something that we need to be mindful of. So there's the Tailwind. Uh, Psy Shock into the Kyogre. Where are we going to see the Lunala? Go for Moon Guys Beam into Tornadus. Now, I would say we take this. Because we are bulky as heck. Like, Tornadus is just extremely bulky. You can have a look in the description of the, the pace that I've got there. Um, it was because we can't, like, utilize the, um, the Focus Sash on it, so I thought, what better way to make it a bulky tornado, especially with Prankster. Now, the thing is here, I feel like the Groudon probably comes in. Um, now I'm gonna, I can't even taunt the Lunala, which is a bit annoying. Um, hmm. The mechanic that I'm still a bit unsure about is if we can roleplay our own Kyogre or whether it's blocked by the Psychic Terrain. Now, my instinct would say it's blocked by the Psychic Terrain, um, so I kind of want to preserve Ogre if I can. I'm just going to switch in Serena here just to, to see, because I need to bait out this, this Groudon. The Groudon comes in now, for sure, I think. And we see a Wide Guard potentially as well. There's the Wide Guard. Okay. Hopefully our hurricane hits. Yeah, it does. Okay, we just need one more hurricane. We get the confusion as well, which is kind of nice. A little bonus there. So shock. Where are you going? Into the Kyogre. The Groudon's definitely in the back, I think. Okay. Now. Hmm. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? Do we try and get a Z move off into the Lele? Because I could potentially bring in Kang. Because how many turns of this Psychic to in the left three? There's so many. Um, hmm. Serena will outspeed the Lunala. And we should be able to get it with a Z move. It's just whether or not I could potentially go Hurricane, Blind Hurricane into the Lele. Get some damage there. Um, and Z move into the Lunala. I think if you're the Lele, you probably want to get rid of the Tornadus. Okay. Ah, oh, misses, but I mean, that's it. Psyshock, we've gone into the Serena. Huh. Okay. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. What's the Lunala gonna do? Hits itself in confusion, so we get away with it there. We get a little bit fortunate. I'm gonna bring in Kangaskhan now. Because we've got the bite there that we can utilize. And we can get rid of the Lele now, which is the big thing. That's what we want to do. And if we can hit a Hurricane into the Lunala... Um, that would be even better for us, wouldn't it? So we will Mega Evolve and just return into the Lele. That should be enough to get rid of it. And then as long as Tornadus gets through this turn, we've got the Tailwind and we can beat the Groudon if it's in the back. So that's that's the big thing for us. So come on, Kang. Mama Kang doing the thing. Let's see, can Return do enough to Lele? I'm pretty sure, if, unless it's like really bulky. Oh, it just misses. It just misses. And the, oh, everything's going wrong for us. <laughs> no, tornadoes hang on. No, I can't hang on. Can't hang on. Now we lose the weather wall and we're going to beam. I mean, we get away with that, but Tailwind Pit is out. Oh. 
Ah, oh, it's all going peep tongue, isn't it, for us? Okay. Yeah, the desolate land. I mean, do we go the Lunala route? I think we'll go Ice Beam into the Lele. We'll go Bite into the Lunala. A Kang will outspeed the Lunala. So we've got to hope the Tapu Lele goes into the Kangaskhan. It does go into the uh, uh, the Olga. We could have protected there. We could have protected. That survival with the Lele, though, that's the big thing. Ah. Uh, hmm. That's where Double Edge would have been better. 100%. Like, Double Edge gets it 100% of the time. Um. So we're just a little bit, yeah, I mean, we've got, we can't, Kang, I don't think can beat Groudon, not Primal Groudon, I mean, we could get the Lele, for whatever reason, the Groudon could miss a Presbyterian Blades. And then we can bite, 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 uh, we'll go for a bite into the Lele. But the Lele's done so much work in this match, it's really kind of, it's stopped our ability to um, utilize. Ah, oh, we just needed to, I mean, even if we protected with Kyogre the last turn, we need a double protect now. Um, we needed to get it with the Kanga. And we could have went for a bite and then return, but we'd still be in a kind of similar position as the Psy Shock. And if the ground on Smart goes Fire Punch here, not P blades because you're risking a miss and that could let me back into this game. Mm, okay, I mean, I wouldn't have chosen that. It should take us down now. Yeah, and good game to my opponent. I think there's just some things that we could have really done a little bit differently there. Um, definitely, I think double edge probably better on Kangaskhan for those situations. Hurricane missing into Lunala. We know the risks when we haven't got the weather up. It's not going to be the most accurate attack in the world, so it can happen. We got fortunate with the confusion anyway, so we can't really complain too much about that. Um, and we knew our end game situation where we needed to to preserve Tornadus, uh, which we, you know, we would have lost it anyway. We take the Lunala down. We would have lost it, but we would have been in a better position to have. Kyogre coming in, and then we could have concentrated a little bit more down on the Lele, but the big turning point there for us, I definitely think, let's go just original trainer music for this next one, was definitely just missing that knockout onto the Lele, and it makes me really think Double Edge is just the better option there, just to guarantee that knockout, because there's a few times you've played Tapu Lele, it's such a popular Pokemon at the minute, we've got it again, um, just to be able to knock it out consecutively and really easily. Um, is, is maybe a better choice. But we'll go into this next one, so we'll hop into Team Preview. So our next opponent is running a team of Kyogre, Rayquaza, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Incineroar, and Bronzong. So, interesting call. We've got the Lele again, which is going to really be just very disruptive for our Tornado in particular. Uh, the, the, the Bronzong is probably Levitate, though, I would imagine. Um, not heatproof, but it could be heatproof. Although it doesn't really make sense with the rain in the team. So we can taunt it still. It's whether or not it's got the Z trick room or not, which could be a little bit of a problem. Um I think I think because Togodomaru with its nuzzle is quite useful here. I'm gonna go Togodomaru Tornadus, and the Tapagogo could cause us a few problems. Um I do want Do I want Xerneas here? Yeah, I do, but hmm. I kind of want, uh, the, the Bronzong's a little bit tricky, so I'm kind of leaning more towards Kyogre and then Kangaskhan. Um, we need to try and prioritize getting the the Nuzzle onto the Rayquaza, I think, because we, we've not got the Xerneas here. And we're leaving ourselves a little bit open to dealing with that with other things in the team. So if we can Nuzzle it, that would make it a lot better. So let's get into this next one. Time up. Time on, let's pull it back. Let's have a bit of a better result going into this one. I know the last one's just a blip, but still, it's always nice to try and continue a winning record when you're on one rather than losing it, but it's fine. We are learning with the team, so that's all part and parcel of 
testing, playing around with the new team. So we're going to see Kyogre, we're going to see Bronzong come out for my opponent. Um, we've got the Togemaru and the Tornadus. So, like it screams to me, it really does scream the old mental herb. I've said so many times before. And I think a way to, to, to alleviate this is to um, taunt fake out the bronze on. 100%. Because I do think it is mental herb. And we need to stop this this, this trick room. Um, and if the Kyogre does go for a water spout here, we've got the Endeavor the next turn into the Kyogre. We can taunt the Bronzong, or we could Endeavor the Bronzong. Okay, Tapalele coming in. Never good, never good, never good. Mm. So we're really getting caught here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah, such a dead turn for us. There's a water spout. Okay. Oh man, that is a high rock. How? Tornado should be able to take that. Really should. Um. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to bring in Kanga. I think we lose this one straight up. Honestly, it's not looking good straight away. We lost so much resource there. Uh, the Tapulele. Scarf Tapulele is such a problem for us. Um, right, okay. What can we do? We can endeavor the Kyogre, but phew, it's not really, really going to be that great. I think we try and endeavor the, the Lele and go for the bite into the, the Kyogre just to prevent it moving this turn. Tapulele going to switch out. If we can get the the flinch onto the the bronze or uh, the Kyogre here with the bite that would be huge for us because we should we will be able to knock this um, Togemaru down to well the bronze on down to its to one HP which will make sure that we can knock it out the next turn so it's just about getting the flinch here onto the the Kyogre which is going to be huge if we get it Kangaskhan can pull us right back into this game okay there's the bronze on Kyogre flinches that's perfect okay. Hmm. And then we could U-turn out on the Bronzong. I just don't feel like... Like, we've got to attack the Bronzong. 100%. Like, a U-turn there, stop the Trick Room. And then we could go for a return. Or another Bite as well into the Kyogre, to be honest. To try and just prevent it from moving. I think that's the big thing. Oh, okay. Ah, let's switch. I wish the second bite redirected and then went into the Kyogre. Uh, okay. I mean, we get we get Togunamaru out of harm's way, which is nice. Um, and get our own Kyogre in. But Kangaskhan's going to take a heck of a big hit here from potentially a Water Spout or an Origin Pulse. I'd probably prefer a Water Spout here. I think it'd probably do a little less. We'll get our Kyogre in. And I haven't given Noah a big shout out, so Noah actually traded me this Kyogre uh, shiny one that he caught in game, which is really nice of him. So it's nice to be able to feature it this week on the channel. Origin Pulse, we don't get lucky, no misses. <sighs> okay, this is going to do horrendous damage. Yeah, and the Tapu Lele comes back in now. Mm. Ah, okay. Hmm. hmm. It's not looking so good today, is it? Makes sense if it's scoffed Lele that to come in now. Yeah. Where do you target? You've got to target the Kangaskhan, I think. Because an Origin Pulse probably won't get. It won't get the Lele. No way. Um. How many turns have we got for the terrain 2? I think we just have to let Kang go down and go for the return into the Olga. I don't really feel like there's much coming. Oh, oh it's not even Scarf Lele. It was just a bluff. It was all a big bluff. <laughs> okay. There's the Zykinian Z. 
it's going to be into our Kyogre. Oh, if we just went for the bite there. That's the problem, presuming. Presuming every time that it's scoffed Lele. Um, uh, okay. Lele is just a problem for us altogether. Now, like, Kyogre is not taking this in psychic terrain. And, yeah, we we're really relying now on an Origin Pulse miss. That's never good, is it? Water spout. Oh, we might take this. Yeah, we do. Okay. It's not over yet. It's not over. Not over yet. Okay. It's pretty much over, though, isn't it? Like, Rayquaza is going to come in. Extreme speed. Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay, I mean, we just got for the nuzzle into the ogre. Um, and we got to kind of hope that a return is enough. It's going to be a roll on Lele, I think. This is, again, where double edge would be nice. But then the recoil would potentially take us down. Um, let's go for the return. I mean, it might not be Rayquaza in the back. Tapu Lele just going to protect this turn. So we'll be able to get rid of this Kyogre. The rain has lifted and it's going to be Ray Quasi, yeah. And the psychic turn ending now is like a turn too early for us to protect us from extreme speed. And that's going to be game, yeah. Ah, oh, so close, but then so far away. It's not a good showing from the team today. I don't think um, we've really handled things as well as we probably could have done. I mean, we can. There's a ray. I like the red. I think we have to just go um, double into the ray if we can. Like it might be a salt vest. It might not. It could just protect here. You know the lele just protected the last turn, so it's easier to make a, a selection into there. But I very much doubt the ray protects. If it's a salt vest and Togedemaru outspeeds it, we can still beat it. But it just extreme speeds. I think here. I don't think there's any need not to extreme speed. Kang. Yeah. And the Lele will take our Togedemaru down. I mean, we can take the, the Ray down to 1 HP, which is nice. But at the same time, there's the Psy Shock, and that'll just clean us up. Ah, a bit of a brutal episode today. I never like having an episode where we have two losses. But th I think there's a lot to learn about what, how we've approached the games today. Um... The first one, obviously, there's the, the misses and things like that, but I think we have to be a bit more prepared for Tapu Lele, and we're seeing how much of a problem it is for the team to deal with. And then, because we faced so many Scarf Tapu Lele up to now, we're just presuming in that last match that it was scarfed and it wasn't, and we had the opportunity to go for the bite and potentially shut down a turn. And if we do that, then uh, the outcome might have been a little bit different, but I think how things went turn one kind of really... Put us in a terrible position. But good game to my opponent. Uh, obviously played very well. Um, but I think there's a few things for us to take on board to take into our next episode. And that's what we'll do. But I hope at the end of it, guys, you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back for another one uh, tomorrow. So do tune in for that one. And we'll try and get this team back on track after a little blip from today. So have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.